Okay, this might be a long one or I might break it up into multiple parts. What I did was added speed up power ups. So if you run, oh, I guess I'll just show you. If you run over a blue pellet, you speed up momentarily for a little bit. And then after a while, the speed up is removed. And this is all configurable. Okay, so how do we do this? Wow. Okay, so we need some constants. Let's put these here. We need to know what our chances of having a speed power up is. We need to know how much the amount is. We need to how long, know how long it'll last. Then what we need to do is we need to keep track of um, the, um, the, the speed power-ups we have, just like food and spoiled food, like which cells should be speed ups and then which ones are active. Okay, so then we need to, um, uh, in clear cells, clear cells, yeah. oh, Oh, that's wrong. I have all these functions that are have, have the wrong kind of names. Clear cells, I'll have to fix that. So in clear cells, we need to, um, so, uh, oh, um, oh, I had changed this. Oh, I made some changes, yeah, okay. So I have some other changes I got to bring in. Um, so I actually did instead of um, re instead of this, I just said clear, and I'll do it this way: clear cells. And where I had that, that is now clear cells. And this we can do reset new counter should be reset new counter. Yes, yes. Reset. Uh, actually, clear error. Should be clear error. Yes, yes. Clear game over. Should be clear game over. Clear score should be clear score. Uh, not found. Clear score. Clear score. There. Okay. So that should be better. Now these are all these look have the format of functions. So clear cells now needs to clear out speed ups as well. So speed power ups equals that. So we have to clear out that when we start. We have to, um, we're going to clear out, um, uh, clear cells. We're going to clear out our active speed ups. And let's actually um, let's add them first. So maybe in our um, game loop function, let's do, uh, we have uh, maybe power up. And so let's go into game loop. And we have power up. Where did I put that? Uh, just right here. And that is just like a lot of the other maybe functions, um, uh, like maybe spoil food, maybe remove poison. We do maybe speed up, and then we'll you know the same thing we always do. Um, is speed up created? 
if the chance to create it is lower than random and then you know create a new point and maybe add speed power up that's probably what we meant and that's checking if um, we just need to make sure that we're not on the snake and so if if we're not on the snake then we can make we can add the speed power ups and then what else okay so um, then when we're moving we need to maybe speed up so let's go to function move and uh, no game loop function game loop and if we've moved then we also need to check if we've maybe sped up and that's going to look like that's under maybe shrink And so we'll pass that the head, and if it's on, if the snake head point is on a power up, we set up a new ID for this power up because we need to get rid of it some at some point, and we'll just set it to the date. And that this get time will get us the number of milliseconds, milliseconds since epoch, which is like sometime in January first, nineteen seventy or something. It's based on a Linux thing, uh, and then we'll create the power up. Um, which is going to be the speed power up amount, which we set up at the top, and the ID, and then we're going to put that on speed power ups active. So there's the power ups that are on the on the game board in the grid, and there's the ones that are actually affecting our speed. So this object we made, power up, we're going to put that onto that list. Then we're going to call reset interval. Now, um, reset interval is a function. Clear speed power. Uh, where is that? Maybe speed up. Let's just put it here. So reset interval is gonna call clear interval on the existing one. It's twelve o'clock. <laughs> it's getting late. Um, it's gonna set up a new. Uh, it's gonna calculate the interval. So let's get that. Calculate interval millis. Uh, nope. Calculate interval millions. Ah. And what's that? That yeah. So we're going to start. This is a little complicated. We're going to start with an initial multiplier. So we're going to take these um, speed ups, and they're going to be a percentage to reduce our speed, or to get yeah, to, to to reduce the interval bias, so that the interval happens quicker, and our little snake will move faster. It's not. I don't know if it's a good power up. We could reverse it later on and say it's a slowdown. So you, it's easier. Maybe if the game speeds up over time, you can slow yourself back down again. Um, or this could be a trap. You hit the speed up multiplier, it makes it harder. So we start with initial multiplier, and then we reduce. So again, we'll go back to our um, uh, MDN, just search for reduce. And what this does is it loops over um, every element in an array, and you can keep a you can keep a running total of something and it, you can set the initial value of the running total to something and so you'll so yeah here's a here, this is a good example so you have an array and you say reducer and this is a this is an anonymous function it says take the previous value and the current value and add them together and so what that will do is it will walk over these and if you don't set like here they haven't oh that's that is the function they say reduce with the reducer and they don't set the initial value. So what it'll do is it'll take the first value of the array and it will make that the previous value. And then it will take the second one as the current value and call your reducer. So this will be one, this will be two, you know, add them together. And then the next time it calls it with three as the current value, previous value will be three. So we're using that um, to, we call sub, subtract speed up and we, set the initial multiplier to one. Uh, so let's do, let's go get subtract speed up. And so what we're doing there is we're calling it with the previous value. And since we're looping over um, speed, speed power ups active, those are actually objects with a speed and an ID. So our previous is gonna start with one because our initial multiplier is one. And then, uh, then we're going to get the speed, and we're going to subtract the multiplier one. 
we're going to subtract the speed from that. And the speed's going to be, I don't know, what was it like? Um, speed power is going to be 0 0.1. No, yeah, 0.1. So this will be 0.9. So then if our game loop is 300 milliseconds, we're going to take 30 milliseconds off it. Now it'll be 270 milliseconds. So, and we walk through all the speed powers that we have active, we remove those. Then we want to make sure we don't go below a minimum. So I call it max speed up, but it could be like min speed. And we take the maximum of that. So if, if speed, mul speed up multiplier is still bigger than the minimum speed or the maximum speed up, then we'll use that. Otherwise, if it's lower, then we'll use maximum speed up. And I actually, I often get this wrong. I said minimum, and so it was always taking the max speed up as the value. Then we multiply our interval millis by that speed up multiplier. So if we've sped up twice, now we're at 80% 80 80 speed. And if our interval millis is, say, 1,000, then now our, our interval will be 800 milliseconds. So it'll be 20% faster every time. So we're gonna the, the ticking will go faster. Our, our, and our, our snake will go faster. Then we return that. And then so we're calling that here. So we'll calculate it. So we've reset our interval. We've canceled the original, canceled our original one, calculated a new interval millis, and then we call setup game loop with interval millis. And I don't. And so now we need to go setup game loop. We need to tell that. Uh, that we need to add a argument to that interval millis so we can tell it how um, what we want it to what what we want to set it up with so we're going to set that to millis so we can pass in originally we'll pass in the the, the standard interval but if we want to reset it we can set it to millis and we'll get that and then what we need to do uh, okay, so we, let's see, we, uh, we get maybe speed power up. That's when we're adding new ones. And then let's see, let's go to game loop. Then we said, um, maybe speed up. So this is going to, if we're on one, yeah, we create a new one. We reset the interval, which then does all this calculation again. Then we say set up clear speed power up timer. So let's go grab that clear speed power up timer. I think we need two of these. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to set up instead of using an interval, we're going to use a timeout that you can do in JavaScript. We want to say after a certain amount of time, call a function. So we tell it which one. So we've said we've given our power up an ID right here. It's just a number of milliseconds since the epoch. And we say, I want to set up a function that's called after a timeout to clear that active power up. So we say set timeout, call this function, clear speed power up with speed power up duration millis, which is five seconds. So your speed up will last five seconds. And we want to pass it the argument power up ID. So we, that ID that we said we want to cancel, we want to cancel that after five seconds. So here's the function it's going to call clear speed power up with the ID. So we go through our active power ups and we filter out where that and it's a uh, Oh, that's not right. We said clear power up ID. I'm actually just passing the ID. I'm not passing an object. So I need to take that out, I think. So filter out, and I can get rid of these. Oh, no, 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 that, that was right. What we're doing is we're, we're looping over all the active power-ups. And when we say filter, we're going to give it an anonymous function, which is everything uh, shift V, no, um, control V, uh, find that. So everything in here is the anonymous function. And it's going to pass us each of the speed power ups active, and it's going to be an object, and we're just going to get the ID out of that object. And then we'll see if the ID is not equal to the power up ID. And if it is, or if it's not, then we're going to keep that one. So what we're doing is we're filtering out the one that we wanted to cancel. And then once we do that, now we have a different amount of power ups. We need to reset our interval again. And that will go through and calculate what our speed is based on what are the remaining speed ups, and there might not be any. 
So is that enough? I don't even know. Let's just try it. My goodness. This one was complicated. It took me a little while. So let's see. Let's go back to our game. Here's ours. Okay, nope. Clear active speed ups is not defined. Uh, clear active speed ups. That should be clear active speed ups. Let's go back here. Do clear active speed ups. That's this. That's after clear. Oh, yeah. So when we reset. When we reset our game, clear active speed ups, we want to take all our active speed ups and, and get rid of them. So when we start a new game, we don't want the speed ups from the last game. So let's try that. Reset. Uh, draw speed ups is not defined. Oh, okay, so we need to um, draw them. Draw speed ups. Draw speed power ups. Uh, that's in draw. Draw. Oh, uh, that was old code. Uh, this. And we don't have that. So let's go find that. And that is just before draw. So. And it's the same as all the other ones. It just goes to each speed power up, gets a point, draws the cell with the speed power up color, which I believe we have. Speed. No, we don't. Uh, let's go get that. Speed power up color is blue. So let's put that there. Let's go back and try it now. See what bugs we have. Okay, so there's a speed up. Oh. Uh, restart. There. Oh, nope. Uh, max speed up is not defined. Okay, we can fix that. Max speed up. Go back here. Blue one. Oh, uh, let's see now. Remove speed up is not defined. Okay, and that's at two fifty two. Remove speed up. Remove speed up. That's after remove poison. Oh, did I forget to? No, there it is. Remove. Oh, well, I don't know what I was doing wrong. It's getting late. Remove speed up. Remove point. Oh, so that's when we run over it with our snake. We want to remove it. So let's go up here. Grab that. Okay, so it looks like we're going a little bit faster. Let's see if we can grab a couple of them. Two, three, I think this is working. Four. And then uh, after a little while, I could, I put in a bunch of console log things. After a little while, it will, um, after five seconds, it'll take away your speed up. So there we go. That's adding power ups. So now, now that we have that done, we can add all kinds of other power ups. Uh, something that makes you um, able to teleport from one side to the other. So maybe you could go, you know, if you, if you have that power up, you can go from here over to here. Um, we can have one where you run over yourself and we can start to update the snake to draw different colors. If you have different speed ups active, like we could make this um, more of, of some color if you're sped up and that way there's a kind of visual indicator of how, how fast you're going. Anyways, yeah, that's enough for that video. It's a long one.